seaweed, the most underrated resource in the Faroes. But it wasn't always like this. It kept the Faroese people alive during hard times long ago, but for the last century, it's just been lying there, swaying to the slow rhythms of the waves. A Japanese man who married a Faroese woman has taken action. He wants to take seaweed out of the ocean and put it back on the dinner table. The Faroese people regard seaweed as something their forefathers ate only to survive, but Kazuomo Enomoto sees it as gourmet food. He goes down to the shore in his hometown, Vesmana, equipped with homemade tools to cut himself some seaweed. It takes some patience, but it's not difficult. Mr. Enomoto is a professional. He's been interested in food all his life and knows a lot about the preparation of food. He's developed his own ways of taking the seaweed home so that the original taste of the sea is preserved all the way. First of all, sunlight is important when drying the seaweed. In his small basement in Vesmana, Mr. Enomoto has built a workshop where he prepares the dried seaweed. This takes precision and love. He cuts tiny slices that are microwaved so that all the germs die and the seaweed get the right bite and crunch. This needs accuracy. One second too much or too little could make all the difference. Mr. Enomoto always experiments and comes up with new courses. Here, he's conducting his latest experiment. The main ingredient is traditional Faroese dry fish. It's mixed with two kinds of seaweed, sesame seeds, and a sweet soy sauce. The dish is served with a bowl of rice. This is pure seafood from the purest ocean in the world. Faroese fusion cuisine. Bon appetit.